Megan. And I'm Allison. To use the beautiful 68 degrees here in lovely Deep Pier, and we have quite the story for you today. That's right, Megan. Your Green Bay Packers have been staying at Santa Rosa College since 1957 for training camp. With the Super Bowl title under their name, students around campus are getting quite the craze over them. And we are no exception. One player in particular has caught our attention. Number 52, Clay Matthews from USC. With 23.5 career sacks, 115 tackles, and three forced fumbles, he's showing amazing talent, even though it's only his third year with the Packers. Wow, that is quite a career so far. I wonder what his diet is like in order for him to stay still healthy. In fact, I wonder how stomach acids break down food. Well, Allison, I have the same question too. How about we put an end to this mystery and figure out how stomach acids work? Sounds great to me. Let's test water, Gatorade, peanuts, and granola bars. Fantastic. Let's go. Here in the lab, we have our temperature probes, hydrochloric acid, pH strips, Gatorade, peanuts, water, granola bar, and safety equipment. Okay, so we put 100 milliliters into eight different beakers of hydrochloric acid, and now we are warming four of them up to 98.6 degrees and leaving four of them at room temperature. the granola bar made the pH closer to neutral. The pH of the granola bar at 98.6 degrees was 5. The peanuts also made hydrochloric acid closer to neutral but at a less significant rate or amount. The Gatorade became less acidic at 15 minutes where the pH was 5, then went back down to 3, therefore increasing neutrality only by 1. The water did not change the hydrochloric acid. It only diluted it to a pH of 3. In conclusion, we found out the sugars or enzymes in the granola bar broke down much easier than the oils in the peanuts. 
Clay Matthews, although he has his own nutritional coach, may want to consider changing diet in order to get all the potential out of his food. Stomach acids break down foods by using the enzymes in the foods and the acid that is already present in the stomach. Therefore, the pH of the stomach may change depending on the food that is consumed. Well friends, that's all we have for you today. It's a beautiful day, so go outside and have some fun. See you back here first thing tomorrow morning.